Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Stone Shard, shall we? Alex, good evening. Alright, well, here we are, and we're chilling. And we are over here by Bryn. And we've kind of gone over to the wagon with Varen to rest up and save the game. And... I'm working on, and I want to do right now with this character, Arna the Knight, here in permadeath mode. I'd love to pay off these officials to get into the guilds for Bryn, so I can buy the better equipment. Because right now, my gear is fine, but it could be much better. So this, we need 2,000 crowns for this one, and we have 1,700. So that's part of what we're trying to do. And uh, currently, the other quests we have, we still have this bison pelt, bear pelt, moose and deer antlers, and just this. So if we wanted to make a bunch of money with this character, um, the best plan is probably uh, to go back to Manshire here and do some contracts in the area to get the money for Bryn. There's also a crawler burrow over here, which is just a kind of, you know, point of interest that we could uncover. There's a bear territory here. Uh, there's a point of interest. There's something over here. And there's even something back here. So we could go back to Osbrook and explore as well. You do get experience when you uncover these points of interest. So that's definitely, you know, something that's worth considering. Now... Another thing that I'd like to do um, with this character before I go anywhere fancy is just take the time to say, you know what, um, I want some consumables that will save my life. So I'm going to go into Bryn and I'm going to try to buy some potions that will save this character because, you know, we're in permadeath and anything can happen in Stone Shard. And so there are some potions that you can buy that restore your life instantly. And it really would be nice to have one just as a kind of get out of jail free in case things go wrong. This is the furthest along I've ever made it with a character in this game. So I don't want to lose her uh, to, you know, poor planning. So we're going to go back into Bryn here. Or at least I'm going to attempt to do that. And yeah, well, we're definitely in Bryn now. And we're going to go to... Uh, the alchemy shop and buy some stuff. This town looks great. Look at these big, you know, stone fortifications with this sentry up on the top here. Bryn is quite well defended. Tough to get in. We need to come back this way, anywho, because um, we're going to need to ride the wagon back to Manshire to do some contracts there. And here's the main gates, so we're in. All right. Uh, let's see here. This is like the expensive shop. So this dude might have some potions, but usually not. Let's see what he's got. Nah, he's got uh, some drugs, but he will buy these nails. And, um, you know, the blacksmith probably pays more for these, but uh, that's fine. I'm going to sell... Um, Potion of Life Drain is actually not bad. Like, it allows you to drain health with your attacks. This is another consumable we could use to save our life, so that's fine. Let me just sell these, and I'm not going to buy any drugs from this dude. Now, he does have, um... Oh. One moment. Good evening. All right, well... Okay, sorry about that. Got some feedback <laughs> from earlier on the stream somehow uh coming back let me turn off some microphone channels and now we should be good all right so 
at this point, I could buy a better quiver. Like, my quiver is, you know, just two stacks. So he's selling this quiver right here, which is... Ah, but it's arrows and not bolts. Okay, well, then that's, that's a no-go. So we're not interested, and here's a big shield that he's got, but... All right. I'll go and talk to the alchemist to buy some... Or try to buy some potions, at the very least. Okay. And let me see here. They have a bigger church. I don't know if I've been in this one yet. Yeah, that's real fancy. It's also nice to just explore and uh, see if there's any quests that need doing around here. So there's like the big head honcho. There's this dude, confessional man. Um, what are you selling? Garbage. Who's this dude? Um, what brings you here, my daughter? Uh, I suppose you're the leader of the Hyron? Of course not. Alas, the High Hyron suffered through a schism. The United Church no longer exists. There are two churches, or there are churches of Bryn, Alduin, and Man, and each one vilifies the other two. Okay, so this must be something like, you know, this game is in early access, and you can only go to a certain portion of it so far, so maybe these other regions are going to be worked in later. For centuries, the Hyron had been led by the Arch... Thurgists, the miracle workers, but they lost their power not long before the war, and no one knows why that happened. Some say it's because the Hyron is drowning in sin, others that the host no longer cares about us, their children. And then there are blasphemers who dare denouncing arch Thurgists as charlatans, claiming that they've grown so inept over the generations that their tricks no longer fool anyone. Sure. We held numerous councils hoping to find out the real reason, but it was all for naught. And in the end, the Crimson Plague finished off those few who could potentially lead us. As for me, I'm just a hierodidact. My job is to hold sermons and pursue knowledge. I'm incapable of performing miracles. This alone would make me a terrible archthurgist, don't you think? Um, so the rumors are true. The Crimson Plague affected clergymen the most, didn't it? We priests aren't really supposed to discuss this matter. Oh, wow. I'll tell you one thing, though. If the plague was indeed the host's way of testing us, as some might suggest, it was way too severe, regardless of the weight of our sins. What do you personally think is going on? I... I don't know. I refuse to believe it. Yes, a lot of things aren't the same, and the, even the holy texts no longer fill me with zealous inspiration, but perhaps it's us who've changed. Uh, wow. Uh, can I have a blessing? You kneel before the Hierophant, letting him perform a few praying gestures as he mumbles something in Axonian. May the hands of the host protect you, traveler. Okay. The host favors those who seek the path. I'm looking for the path. Oh, he gives you a real good blessing. So this blessing you can actually get in Manshire, but I believe it lasts for about half this long. So this dude gives you a more potent blessing. You got anything extra to sell? What you selling? Nah, he's just selling stuff. What about you? Do you have anything to sell? No. So, unlike the other church, do you sell stuff? Nope. The other guy kind of sells stuff. Uh, can I go in the basement? Is that cool? Oh. Oh my. There's like a... This is Graveyard Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a m autopsy being done. There's scholars. There's a dude in the bed. Yikes. Uh, all right. Uh, can I trade with you? What are you on about? Oh, she left. And the interesting. So the game doesn't follow her. Hey, Achilles. What's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. I'm so glad the videos have been helpful. Yeah, this game is awesome. I'm still exploring more and learning more about the game myself. It's really quite something. Let's go out this way then. All right, so that means that there's no potions to buy in the church, but they do give you a real super blessing. All right, here's a bunch of scholars. Oh, the birds fly away. Look at that detail. 
Let's see if this fender will sell anything. Ivric. And... Well... He sells a lot of stuff, I'll tell you that much. He's got some spirit. He's got some booze. ID scrolls. Disenchantment. Some rings. But not quite what I need. Here's an herbalist dude, maybe, or... Yeah, here we go. This is exactly what I need. Vivifying Essence. So this is a potion that gives you 35% of your health right away. Um, and this is 100% what I want to have. Uh, in fact, I'm... I'm feeling cowardly as I get farther with this character, so I'm going to actually buy two of these. I know that's bad, considering I want 2,000 gold for the payoff uh, for the quest, but I'd rather be alive. So let's take our living self and ride the caravan back to Manshire and do some contracts. Let's make some money the old-fashioned way. I could try to, um... Hey, Rizel, what is up, my friend? Thanks for liking the stream. I appreciate that. I could try to do some stuff around here, but I think it's just a little bit too tough. Hey, hey Leroy, what's up, my friend? How you doing? Um, I need a ride to Manshire. Uh, let's check out this character's level, Leroy. There we go. We made it. Eighth level, my friend. Eighth. So, I really won't, don't want to start doing Bryn contracts till I'm around 10th uh, level, you know. So, I'm going to keep doing stuff around here. Make some cash. Uh, we'll go ahead and drink. And let's get some water before I get some contracts. Well, the Elder's right over here. Let's get the contract, get the water, and bail. What you got for us, dude? Do you need any help? I got a contract. It's called Alchemy Kit. Let's do it. Not so long ago, we had an odd merchant passing through our land. Somehow, he managed to stumble upon the brigands from the castle Inver. He paid them off and got away with his life, but he had to wave his goods goodbye. Among other things, he was transporting a set of unique vials for some very important person. The merchant told me that if his employer learns about the missing delivery, he's done for. Perhaps you could help this poor fellow out? He promised to pay his savior well. Great. Good, then it's settled. Give me your map, I'll mark the location. You got four days and claiming your reward. Um, how much money do I get for this? You gonna tell me? Alright. Let me see this. 560? Yeah. That's not enough. I'll do it. But I'd like some more cash than that. Hmm. Alright, let's get our water. Our blessing is still holding up, by the way. Fill that up. And where is this on the map? Uh, right up here. Oh, that's really close. Okay, great. Let's go up. Do I have anything extra? Nah, we're good. Although, um, these leaf-shaped arrows are questionable at best. I don't know why I have those. They're gone. I make a lot of noise when I walk around with this armor. Let me just check out my character really fast, by the way. So, we've got this Hawbrook. Hawbrook. We've got some splint for embraces. We're still using Arna's sword. We have a Anti-magic guard helmet, mail boots, the pain-killing heater shield, the knightly girdle. And, you know, so this gives us a lot of defense with this character, but soon enough I need a better sword. But I think that to get a better sword, we're going to have to get in good with the, uh, the guild anyway. So, you know, let me see, where am I? I need to go over here on the map, so let me just kind of... Drag this over, and let's go up here. Enemy. Oh, okay, great. All right, so I've got 
Ray's Shield. I've got Keeping Distance, Leg Sweep, Breakthrough, Seize the Initiative, and Cleaving Strike. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to our crossbow and uh, load up, shoot this guy in the face. Oh, God. We wrecked this dude. Yeah, we crit him. We pinned him to the ground. Ansem, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. All right. Here we go, buddy. Oh, no. All right, time to switch. And let's think about this. We'll go ahead and raise our shield. Oh, he wants to do that. So whenever they use Mighty Swing, you just go ahead and keep distance and just step away. He loses his Mighty Swing, and we're going to go ahead and um, do Seize the Initiative. This guy should be pretty much be dead. Oh, he hit us good. Good for him. We're dazed. And... Oh, God. That looks like his head flew off, and he had some flatbread. That's very kind of him. I do like a good piece of flatbread. Delicious. Okay. So let's roll back over here. Let me switch back to my crossbow, load it up, and let's get going. We're actually really close to ninth level, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so here we are on the map, and I am going to go over one screen to get closer to the road. It's just more convenient. And we'll just let the road take us on up. Birds are flying away. Hey, Crab. Good evening. Good to see you. You know... We've done a quest up here. I'm going to look at my rep in Manshire. It's pretty good. We have not yet done this particular contract, though. So, we're going to keep going and try to finish all of them to kind of close up the... Uh, the log here in Manshire get the best rep with these people also there's a quest from the uh, the priest in the town that I want to do oh there was a snake but it ran away luckily <laughs> it did not kill us hey Rizel thanks for following my friend I appreciate that all right, we're going to go over here. And, boy, I'm going to keep looking. It's It's got to be on this part of the map, right? The castle? Maybe it's up here. I'm just going to make sure I explore this entire section. Usually when it indicates this, the castle is here, but let me see. I might have to go up one more. Feels odd. Now here it is. That's what I thought. All right. Let's get around to the side. Boy, castle is being thrown around pretty loosely. It's one stone tower with a wooden palisade. Oh, there, there's the remnants of some other corners, but... This place has seen better days. It's uh, not in the best shape. Let's go in. All right. So we're in the castle. We need to kill the leader and get the kit. Let's search for traps. Nothing. We're going in. All right. Here's a guy. I'm just going to switch. Oh, he didn't see us. All right. We'll switch back and shoot this guy. Now he sees us. He's like, I see you. All right, so let's go ahead and seize the initiative. 
And... Oh. Give him that. And he's gone. It's so brutal that he says help. Like, I... I'm not helping you, unfortunately. I'm doing the opposite. Uh, let's see. Okay. Nothing to find. And a door. Ooh, big boys. Is a henchman. There's an enforcer. Okay. So I'm just going to right click and close the door. And I'm going to switch. And I'm going to kind of walk away a little bit. And I'm going to just stand here to try to eliminate fighting both of them at once. Unfortunately, I forgot to load my weapon. Oh, he did a cool move and closed the distance on me really well. That's fun. All right, let me see if I can sweep this guy. All right. Might not have been the best move. I mean, this guy's blocking me all day. All right, no problem. I'll block too, buddy. All right, what do I got here? Raise that shield. All right. Seize the initiative. Yeah, this guy's tough. His shield is just really, really uh, causing me some problems, but he's gone. And we'll go ahead and uh, slice him. Seize the initiative. This is where our armor is really paying off. There we go. It's a grizzly game, isn't it? Uh, we are, you know, a trim 76 experience. Uh, I'm sorry, 276 experience away from leveling up. So pretty good. Hey, Johnny, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. So what we're going to do is close this door again. And I'm going to go ahead and just rest up sit down and think about what happened you know anymore it's my energy i just use so many abilities that my energy is getting drained we'll eat the flatbread that we found i'm going to sort my inventory and let's go look for traps okay and uh enemy yep i'm gonna look for traps again now this guy can't fire at us from over there so i'm gonna switch up reload our crossbow He's trying to shoot at us through the bookshelf, which is amusing. Um, there we go. Okay, there's two guys, though. So we're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's better shooting than I am, so I'm going to have to run. Ooh. All right. Reload. I tried. So shield guys are coming. We'll take as many shots as we can. Oh. He did his special trick and closed the distance. I'm just going to go ahead and keep distance back here. And then we'll seize the initiative. How many hit points do you have? He's down to 40%. Alright, great. So he's at 40%. Um, I'm fine with simply cleaving this guy. I'm just going to do regular attacks, save some energy. And it looks like the archer is out of attacks. He's just going to stand there and like try to hit me with his club, which is a blessing. Really, it is. He's already, he's like, my leg, I'm out. All right. And I just switched over to my crossbow and shot him in the back like a true hero. We'll go ahead and pick up some of these. Honestly, look at this again. Like, we really lost hardly any health. It's just energy. Um, oh, I need to lower my fatigue. So my fatigue is damaged because I haven't rested in the, the town. 